So welcome back to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to look at some special function blocks stroke CFCs called the Citrans Library. So Citrans Library is a free to download library that you can add to Siemens um, PCS7. And what it does is it allows you to grab extra diagnostics from instruments with uh, intelligent communications and in this case it's Hart and Profibus. So we're going to be adding a LR200 which is our um, 6.8 gigahertz radar, uh, low frequency radar, just happens to be the one that we've got in the demo room. So here's our project, we're going to be adding it to our liquid application screen. So. Um, if we have a look at the hardware first, just so you get an idea of where it is. So down here I have a Profibus PA network with an intelligent um, AFD ISD on and the LR200 is actually connected to to that so i can see it's address six i can see my uh, memory range down here and then if i right click and do edit symbols i can see lr200 out i've got two process values coming back so lr200 out is the volume and then my second uh, process value is level okay and we need to make a note of this value here, 532. So we'll keep that open. So step one, open the library. So open. And if you go to libraries, and if we scroll down, you should see PCS7 library. If you have a look at the blocks, these are all the data blocks that it it uses in the background but uh, so I don't have to be too concerned about that and on the templates I have all of my different instruments so we are looking at a Citrans LR so radar uh, this block supports the LR200 the LR250 and the LR560 so all I need to do is to drag that into the screen where I want it to go and so you can see that's added it in there I want to rename that because this is the name that's going to appear on my function block on my operator screen now I'm going to have a look inside what interconnections I need to make so the interconnections are there so process variable value variable once if I delete that right click interconnect to address and it was my LR200 out is going to be my first process value second process value is LR200 level so th these uh, FB analog ins are, are standard function blocks. So this isn't actually the, the Citrans library faceplate. If we come across here, there's the, the Citrans library faceplate. So what we have to do is add the uh, address for the um, acyclic read write. So if we just double click that and type in there the textual interconnection. So if you can't remember where that is, if we go back to our hardware screen, it's this address here, 532, in the first slot. That's where it will do its acyclic read, right? So 532. Okay, now you could just leave it at that, but um, I just want to, to, to show you some, some other things. So to see more of the data block, if you uh, go on to, to here, and just double click we can we can rename this this block but if we look at the io list there's a there's a few things here so device type right 
I scroll across you'll see that that is invisible so we'll make that visible okay but we're going to change that to LR200 Profibus PA okay now some nice features are, are, are located under the feature bit so if we come down to these feature bits and scroll across you'll see there's one that says time to empty time to spill okay so this one here I'm going to activate that as well one in there so that's my block ready I don't have to worry about all the other connections so if I do a compile so now we're going to download those now there's no errors So once we've downloaded, we'll just put it into to, to monitor. Okay, and then we can see how process values come in into, into our block. Um, so the top one is the volume and the uh, and the bottom one is our level. So that's the CFC functionality um, configured. So we're, we're happy with our um, CFC, uh, now we just have to uh, look at the visualisation. So uh, to generate the visualisation, I have to make sure again what we have here, just uh, to, to remind you if you've never seen any of our previous blogs, this is an ESOS all rolled into one. If you've got a separate OS, then you will need to make sure that the visualization side of the Citrans library is also installed on your OS, okay? Otherwise it won't work. So we've got everything on one PC. So plant hierarchy, so after right clicking, I'm actually gonna do that on demo wall back further up. So plant hierarchy, um, uh, we want to create and update block icons for all of these walls. And then a quick compile of the OS. Okay, so when it's finished, if we go to our operating screen, I'll just change screens to get it to refresh. And there is our LR200 function block. So we're going to take a look at what this uh, Citrans library block actually does. So here it is. Um, it doesn't look too interesting at the moment because the first thing you have to do, and you can automate this, but I'm going to do it manually, is you're going to read the config. So what this will do is it will read all of the scaling, um, your units, uh, your alarms that you've got programmed on the LR200 and bring them into the faceplate. So you've only got one point where you program everything up. And what we should see as we as we load this up is I will start to see um, some other settings on here as well. Because now it's read how it's programmed. It knows that it's got a linearization curve in. So it's showing me that here. Let's see if acknowledge any alarms. Um, I can see that my level is in meters. My volume is in liter, liters. And then I have time to fill and time to empty alarms here. And on the CFC, I can link these to other parts of my process. So it's looking at my gradients, how, how quick it's filling. And then it looks at this here, which is my maximum volume, which it has read directly 
from the radar. So it's tied everything in into a nice block. Some other nice features, if I have a look under here, I've got my um, algorithm and how confident the, the, the reading is. Again, I'm doing this manually, but you can get this to, to, to be automated. My graphs are already sorted. So if I have a look here, I've got level and volume on one trend. I'm not having to, to build my own trend screen, so it saves me a bit of time. It also has all the uh, standard uh, PCS7 functionality like notes. Um, uh, and I can, I can under here, it tells me what privileges I, I've, I, I've got, okay, with my login. So that's it. Um, no scaling required on Profibus. But we do need to know, you know what the, the vessel uh, capacity is. So I don't have to program that twice. I just program it in the instrument and get the faceplate to, to, to read it back. So I hope that was a, a good insight into to the first Citrans library uh, faceplate for the LR200 or all of the radars, the LR200, 250, 260 and the LR560 radars. So thanks for listening and stay tuned. Cheers.